Welcome to the Mischief, I'm Velen, and this is Omen Sight by Spearhead Games. It's part adventure, part action, part mystery and uh, detective agency style, but it's all in another fantasy world, and it's actually done very beautifully. Uh, it's also the same company that's brought, uh, that made uh, stories, The Path of Destinies. And they gifted me this key so that I could show this brief glimpse into Omen Sight. As you can see here, there is actually a little bit of a, a possibility of changing how your game plays. You can play it based on story and working on uh, figuring out mysteries. You can balance it between the two. You can go more for the combat feel, etc. And it, it allows you quite a bit of uh, customization on how you want to play the game, which I find quite refreshing, actually. In this case, I'm going to be choosing balanced. Euralia, a prosperous land, home to many tribes. The gods entrusted the bird tribes to watch over the others. The tribe founded Pegaria, and all lived in harmony under the banner of the Pegarian Empire. Until seven years ago, when Pegaria began recruiting the dog and cat tribes. As their strength grew, the other tribes suffered. To protect themselves from Pagarian oppression, the scattered rodent and bear tribes formed an alliance, led by a rebel named Ratika. Tonight, the Pagarian Empire launches a brutal assault on the Rodentian capital under orders of Emperor Indrik. When the capital falls, his conquest of Euralia will be complete. And far from the front lines, one who could have brought peace, the godless priestess Vera, has been murdered. In her absence, there is no one left to protect Euralia and its people. The end times are near. Euralia needs a savior. And that's where you come in. This is kind of like a little overhead view map of Pegaria uh, and uh, Euralia. As you can see, there's Pegaria on the left and Rodentia on the right. And we're going to be starting off at what's left of Rodentia in the Crimson Forest. The animation, music, and voice acting in this game is pretty darn good. I have to say, uh, at the very least, the, it's very pretty, that's for sure. The Emperor warned us about Redemption sorcery. Kill the intruder, quick! But sir, that glow, that sword, is it the Harbinger? Yes. What? Yes, Do you it think is. it's the end of the world? Do you see any floods? Any earthquakes? No, sir. But the elders, they say the Harbinger comes to prevent the end of the world, not cause it. Could be the Harbinger, or a Redention Sorcerer. I'm not taking any chances. Apparently the Rodentians are known for their cunning. <laughs> and yes, you start off with a, a few simple options here, and that is to attack or dodge. As you can see here, you get the little notif notification before they attack, which is convenient, but it's it's a short enough uh, span that you're able to, you know, make good use of it without being too overdone. And you can see that, you know, jumping into large groups can often lead to bad situations because if you're too busy attacking, you can't dodge as easily. But you can get some really good, you know, effects going on just by simply, you know... <laughs> Uh, taking things out in a well-timed manner. So you've got to keep a, an open view on the entire battlefield as you're fighting. So, uh, by continuing on, we can jump. We can double jump. Yes, we can. Because we are the Harbinger. And harbingers come with double jump abilities. And apparently the ability to avoid fireballs. So, as with most gaming logic, barrels will have loot. And therefore... I'm going to be smashing barrels as I go because loot Your best is important. Spider is dead. Catch. Ludimir? You, you killed Ludimir? Oh, Your no. 
man thought he could storm in and kill Emperor Injigal by himself. I can tell you this. He met the Emperor all right. And when he did, well, your friend's death was slow and painful. You're sick, just like your master. And where's your Emperor now, anyway, huh? Too sacred to show up for battle? Oh, don't you worry. Indrik is coming. And he's more powerful now than you can ever imagine. But you will not get to bask in his light. Borodensha! Oh dear. So much for those little mischievous mice. Your attention to toying with dark magic. Attack! <laughs> Apparently, uh, I the Rodentians aren't allowed to, but the Emperor is, of course. And yes, we can also do jumping attacks. And it's it's kind of Devil May Cry in a way with how things are. Boy, the, <laughs> I have to say that the the killing effects are actually really impressive. Let's smash all these barrels and get all the loot. And I can't dodge in mid air, so that's something. But I can do a smash attack, and then dodge quickly. It's nice that when you attack, you actually get like this little uh, super speed boost towards your target. And of course you get uh, rewards for like attack chains and uh, working with that. Oh, 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 before before I go check out the bear, I just gotta, I gotta get me some loot. All right, here we go, interact. This is where the detecting part comes in. Things right, sister. Indrek! I will smash your precious temple to bits if you don't come out! A bond with Ludomir's soul is created by fate. Ludomir was a great warrior, loyal to the Rodentian clans. You can feel the hatred he had for Emperor Indrik was unmatched. We made some kind of soul bond with the passing of the bear. Interesting. So, we shall continue on with our battling investigation I guess <laughs> all right so we're just gonna do whoa uh, just jump lightly not not too heavily across here and yeah if, you, if I tried falling off the edge my character's like no I don't want to fall off the edge but I will grab this and get some health back so that's useful and then double jump up and it, the controls are actually pretty darn smooth I, I have to say a lot of the time you get like a little platformery type uh, adventure action thing like this and they're a, a bit clunky these are pretty good, I gotta say. Uh, so let's go check out this character here who doesn't seem to have passed yet, but it looks like they don't have much you time left. The Harbinger. That's me. So we are all in danger. The threat. Do you know what it is? Did you investigate the godless priestess? I've only just begun. That look in your eyes. You have never heard of the priestess. No, and I don't have eyes. Mm. <laughs> Where to begin? Ever since the first godless priestess appeared, the world has been a safer place. As if she scares the darkness away. But now the priestess is dead. Murdered. I am certain this is what has brought you here. Her murder is a sign of great danger. I only wish I had more time. Oh, poor Draga. Seems to understand the situation better than most. Uh, I don't know if that was me putting Draga out of her misery, or just I should have seen bonding. <laughs> Sooner. Maybe both. <laughs> A bond with Draga's soul is created by fate. Draga was one of Emperor Indrik's generals. You can feel the mutual trust between Emperor Indrik and her. You there! Uh oh, that this is gonna look bad. Wait. Did you kill General Draga? I'm not sure. I'll have your head for this. <laughs> I'd rather you not, because it's a magical head, and I'm rather attached to it. So you're just gonna have to uh, kind of go away and back off. <laughs> uh, apparently, the counterattacks are real in this. Uh, so when they uh, attack, you could do a counterattack really easily. Uh, or at least in this situation you can. I don't know if it's always or not, but I'm just gonna 
keep going with the attack chains right now. Oh, I can do a heavy attack. Okay, there we go. I, I have unlocked heavy attacks now. And that guy with the shield apparently uh, was deflecting a bit. I, I don't know. Oh, it's all right for the emperor to do a, a sorcery, but but me no. The land torn by war has come to an end. Oh, I don't think I was fast enough. After three hundred years. Serpent Bowden has returned to devour the world. Uh, that's the Harbinger, unfortunate. awakened to fight this threat, learned of the godless priestess, of her role in protecting Euralia, and of her murder. But this was no simple murder. The immortal soul of the priestess always returns to the world. Always. But not this time. Then it's not always. Bowden's return was planned. The world has ended, but there is yet a flicker of hope. Harbinger, focus on my voice. Let me help. Um, sure. Uh, I don't. I don't want the end of the world to happen. Uh, I only just got into it, and yeah, there's a giant purple worm in the background, and the land is uh, basically being pulled apart and destroyed. That's great. But hey, chaining three heavy attacks will knock an enemy down and cause damage in an area in front of me. That is also good to know. So let's let's go visit the witch who keeps narrating for us so nicely. Nice place. Harbinger. Hero landing. So I can summon you here. Well, you asked and I Thank came. The gods. You, Do you know who I am? Count you as a summoner. And you did not inherit your predecessor's memories. No. We have no time to worry about that. No, we know don't. that you are the Harbinger. Yes. You are the eyes of Euralia. Okay. You are its sword. And you are the only hope we have left. Wait, when am I the eyes or the sword? When devouring the world, <laughs> he will find this place. No, he is already searching for it. And when he finds it, well... Well, fighting Vodin is now impossible. Too strong. Even if you are victorious, there is not much of a world left to save. Harbinger, I brought you here for a reason. There is a way to save Euralia, but it will not be easy. I did not I expect it to force you to accept. <laughs> but if you are willing, then come to me. It sounds like she was ready to force me to accept, though. You have gained XP to level up. Meditate before the chalice to gain new powers. Sounds good. You have gained enough ember to receive a blessing. Offer tribute before the anvil in exchange for various benefits. I would presume this looks like the, uh, uh, the Yggdrasil, you know, the Tree of Life and such. And we've got these items over here. Let's check these out. So, we have meditations to level up. Yes, please, and thank you. Such cool effects. All right. Launch a projectile that damages and knocks down target enemies. You can gain energy by chaining attacks and dodges. You lose energy if you break the flow. This happens if you're a hit or if you do nothing. Okay, so it rewards you for good behavior. Sounds excellent. Now let's let's look into this. Amber gifting. We have health. I can increase my maximum health. I can increase the amount of damage dealt by a heavy attack. Or I cannot quite afford to make a donation to gain the perfect dodge or in this case the perfect doge uh doging at the last moment will slow down time oh my gosh that sounds amazing um especially since that's the only way that i dodge is at the last moment because i never dodge uh, fast enough so uh, I, I might just kind of up the damage on the heavy attack though that's that's always a good thing to go with so let's start with that uh if you do more damage then the things don't live long enough to do you more damage so that that's my theory at least so <laughs> Uh, I can show my acquired blessings. Okay, so it's it's just showing me the one. All right, let's let's back up and go accept the witch's offer. Ooh, I got a glowy glowier sword now, and it seems we've got some broken statues up here. Interesting. All right, let's see what she has to say. Thank you, Harbinger. You're welcome. The tree of life. It is the tree of life. There is ancient power here, one that transcends the bonds of space and time. That power can send you into the past. 
Cool. You will have a chance to investigate the death of the godless priestess. If you find her soul, then the Tree of Life can spin it back to Euralia. And that may be enough to prevent Vodin from appearing in the first place. Yeah. And we have a suspect. Emperor Indrik. Yeah. You saw his war. Yes, I did. There is no end to his ambition and cruelty. No, there isn't. He may even be mad enough to unleash Vodin. Prom that means murdering the godless priestess and hiding her soul. That might have been a means to the an end. souls you bonded with. The tree can latch on to them. Send you to the dawn of their last day. Oh. There is Ludomir, who died at the hands of the Emperor. If you meet Ludomir before his death, if you follow him, you will find Indrik. That's then a good thing. There is Draga, who seems to understand the stakes. She may help your investigation in a way no one else can. Investigate the Emperor and the death of the godless priestess. Find her soul. But which lead will you follow? Draga or Ludimir? Make your uh, choice. Uh, I, I really like uh, Draga. Draga is one of Emperor Indric's generals. She is trying to end the war as bloodlessly as she can. Gaining her trust would be a sure way to learn more about the Emperor's Empire's secrets. Or Ludimir. Ludomir, a great warrior loyal to the Rodentian clans. His hatred for Emperor Indric is unmatched. His burning drive to kill the Emperor may well pave a quick path to Indric. While I feel that Draga will readily accept uh, who I am, especially since they recognize me upon their death, and might be helpful, I figure that I need to find out what exactly happened with Ludomir, uh, because there was some serious stuff going on in Becker. Oh, and I see some rabbit folk in the back there. And, and a warthog barkeep. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go back time and, and we're going to talk to Ludomir. There has to be a way oh boy. To stop Find it. I'll do what I can. Oh, whoa. Time travel. Okay. We just went back a few days. Cool. Uh, buildings are restored. Kill the highest ranking enemies first to lower morale and encourage enemies to surrender. Oh, interesting. I like that there are other options Ludomir, available. Listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety boo. At least bring a squad along. Who, eh? Rattaka's mob. Everyone's up their arse with the big fight. Besides, they'll just get in the way. Nah, I'll kill the Emperor on my own. You mean, die trying. You better pay your tab before you go. Ha! <laughs> All of it. Yeah, yeah. Just pour me another, will ya? Nice. I think I'll join you. taken, mate. Ooh. Ludomir, that's... <laughs> it's the Harbinger. Notice me by uh, my hair. Harbinger, my ass. <laughs> Except... Well, she matches the storybook pictures. Sort of. Ludomir. <laughs> <laughs> Harbinger. Please forgive him. Yeah, he doesn't... Well, if you are the Harbinger, what are you here for? Taking in the sights? No, having a drink. Before Rodentia's rubble, I suppose. Sure What's thing. that look for? I didn't cause this mess. <laughs> Thank Hendrick for that. Well, as much fun as this chat has been, I'm off. Big day. Yep. And I think I might join you on it. Thanks, Parkeep. <laughs> the Harbinger. Here. This will be interesting. One would hope so. I don't know if you guys noticed there was somebody passed out in the background area there. <laughs> so we're going off to Yarbog's Temple, which apparently is where uh, the, the Emperor is. And that sounds good. It took us like most of a day to get here. Looks like there's rain or snow or something going on in the background. Let, let's go. Tagging along, eh? You know it's a suicide mission, right? I do. I do know it's a suicide mission. But that's alright. It's a beautiful suicide mission. Look at this. Look at this. And it's... It's three-dimensional. It's not just, just a pre-rendered image. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. Alright, I, I gotta keep going just for this. And I recognize the voice actor of Ludomir, too. I think I remember playing... Playing a game or two with him. Close the, Close the gate! No, open the gate! 
You back off, my friend. We're just going to go crazy town, banana pants, with all these attacks. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to take you down. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I left I left Ludomir. Um, I think, did I leave Ludomir 1? I can't remember. Actually, before I go up, I always want to check out to see if there's other stuff. Jump towards Ludomir and he will throw you to a higher point. That sounds great. Even though there is a big gate lever here, I don't think it's going to work. Whee! Thanks, Ludomir. Pretty handy to have around sometimes. All right. Uh, though I think I probably could have double jumped up. We'll miss the battle. Our yeah. job here is critical. No one is to disturb the Emperor. Oh, treasure. Can I get over there? No. They won't let they won't let me get over there to get to the treasure. Whoa, I almost fell. That's where we need to go, apparently. Alright, so we're gonna head over to the big door. Oh, that's an even is that a door? No, that's a statue. Well, you know, we're we're gonna split up, I think. I'm gonna head this way. And I'm gonna check out some of these pots. And if there's nothing of interest, uh, besides the the gems inside, then I will I will regroup with you, sir. So there was just a whole bunch of pots, basically, for me to gather some stuff. Some things. We're gonna team up. Let's do this. Most Imperials believe their leader is in your tent chair right now. What with the invasion and all, Indrik went to a lot of effort to fool his subjects to keep his secret. But I know better. Whatever he's plotting here must be huge. Anyway, doesn't really matter to me. I'm here for one thing only. Make him answer for what he did. I see. So, you want answers, do you? Oh, hey, this... This looks rendered in some way. It, it's highlighted, I don't know. What? I don't know if that's a glitch or not. That might be a glitch. Anyway, let's continue on. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> that's a very interesting pillar. I noticed that there was a some kind of, like, I don't know, pedestal over here in front of this giant statue. It looks... Glorious. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at the this, this, The game is just so pretty. Um, let me back up and interact with this. We'll do this proper. New memory obtained. Okay. And I, I gained some stuff. I've got an Indrik memory. The last meal. Interesting. Alright, so there's the image of... Oh, this is the doors I think we're waiting at. Young Idric can feel Lokran's sinister gaze. The six-year-old's nerves scream. Oh. Young Indrik. So this is him when he's a kid. Locrin's sinister gaze. The six-year-old's nerves scream. So Indrik is six. All right. The p patrician's shadowed figure has yet to move. Please look away. Please look away. All right. I am here to collect you, young royal. Had been Locrin's only greeting. The patrician had interrupted Indrik's farewell meal. But it is sacred. This is unfair. Indrik's even-tempered parents acquiesced and urged Indrik to finish eating. A pause. A scrape. Indrik glances up. The patrician swipes a long fingernail across a bone-white coin. Indrik hides a shudder. The boy half assumed this night would never come. He was wrong. Indrik attempts to take a bite of food, but he can't follow through, not even methodically. You have a duty to perform, young royal, Lokrun declares. If you're finished neglecting it, we go. Indrik's parents whisper good luck to their son. Not even a hug. Why? Indrik glassy-eyed tries uttering farewell, but the words die in his throat. Lokran scratches Indrik and toes him out the door. With a tight-lipped snarl on his face, the patrician leads Indrik through the streets of Pagaria, predestined to become emperor. Indrik remembers his duty. He must fulfill his lineage to Iontrek, the first emperor who, 300 years ago, united their convocations. The successorship includes the role for patricians and com commanders and has wielded a worthy standing empire. I know I will be the best empire Pagaria ever had, better than Iontrek. But something else swells within Indrik, something confusing between instinct and responsibility. What will I study first in leadership training? asked Indrik. Lokran does not answer. The quiet lingers on, prompting Indrik to ask again. The patrician cuts him off. I heard you the first time, he pauses. You want to lead? Good. But first, you must endure servitude. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So he's trying to humble him before he tries to... Uh, Allow him to take the role so that he knows what it's like to, uh, yeah, to be that, that person. Let's interact here and continue on with Ludomir. Alright, let's go then. 
So I don't know that he'd, he'd have been able to get in here without me the first time. Companion ability. Pugilist Wrath. Ludomir launches a powerful slam attack that damages and knocks down all surrounding enemies. Oh, so I can control him partially. That's wonderful. All right. There's more of them every day. They just pop in and kill anything on sight. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I can I get you to Oh no, I need to potentially get some attacks, I think. Oh, I almost got hit there. Or did I? It's difficult to tell. Okay, I need to back off. <laughs> These weird like, I don't know, fish things are very strange. Get him, Ludomir. He just knocked down all the pillars. Interesting. Okay, so it's not a game glitch. It just lets me see my character on the other side of the pillar. Mmm. Okay, that's that's better. I think it'd be nice if it was just like somewhat transparent instead of completely transparent. Anyway, let's jump up, buddy. Hui. Wow, super bear. He didn't... Uh, it, do, it looks like he missed leg day, but apparently he didn't. And I will definitely go the same way that he did, because it just has more pots. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! I didn't know it was, a, it was an exploding type. Okay, that was bad. Uh, yay! Uh, that was very convenient. <laughs> that was health pots right there after doing such silliness. Oh, I almost fell off. Any goodies? No? Ah, okay, so I, so I can do downward attacks with my strong attack. Hey, there's a lever. Let's interact with this. Thanks for waiting for me, Ludomir. You're a real pal. Oh, look, more more purple beasties. Anyone on site? Interesting. So th these things maybe are part of some kind of corruption that got to the uh, Emperor. I wonder if we can instead go down here. Order, sir. Hold. We wait for Rex Squad. I see. So there's a bunch of them down there, or we can go down and fight these critters. I think I think we fight these critters. Let's do it. Sir, wait for my order. Let them weaken each other. <laughs> That's a good strategy. That's a very good strategy. Come on, Ludomir. Do your stuff, please. Thank you. That That's very appreciated that you're doing that now. <laughs> I'm able to actually do some damage. Uh, oh, did he get the last one? He did get the last one. All right. All right, that's it, folks. I'm just doing the things I can as a mouse can. So far, so good. These guys are a lot easier to deal with than those purple beasties, which leads me to think that those pur purple beasties were really going to be the problem. <laughs> My combos run off. Oh, I've got that little glowy ball above me because I, I, achi I, I achieved that option of uh, getting that. Oh, he hello. I grab a little bit of health. That'd be convenient. One second, Ludomir. I just got to loot stuff. Oh, yeah? You, you break some pots every now and then? You're a good, you're a good barrow. <laughs> a good boyo barrow? I don't know, there's, there's chests, dude. I gotta loot the chests. You're so impatient. I know that you're here on a suicide mission, but I, I need, I need the sparkles, uh, which just fell off the ledge. That's great. Can I get, don't fall off the ledge. They keep falling off the ledge. Darn things. All right, so there was, there was a, an explosive barrel and another chest. Let's stand over here. I guess it's okay to steal from the empire. Uh, oh wait, I'm stealing. Well, they're not using this stuff. They're they're gonna explode and destroy the world anyway. So I might as well put it to good use. All right, let's do this. Come on, jump! Hui. Are those like evil rat? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Elindric, stinky feathers. There are this rat people the and mice people, and those were rats on the floor. Are those were those just babies that they have? I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> I has a confuse. All right, let's let's open the gate. What do we got? We need to at least find out what what goes on with the emperor. All right, there are even 
bigger barrels. These are glorious barrels to break, and there's nothing in them. That's disappointing. And I can't get back to those ones back there. Oh. Oh. But I can break all this stuff and get... Wait, wait, wait. This one's not broken. No, they disappear over time. Okay, so it was... They were broken. Okay. Continue getting all the barrels. I'll be right back with you. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting on you, buddy. Apparently, uh, no, I wasn't. I was smashing all the barrels. I'm sorry. Let's continue. Let's open the door. <gasps> Go! Oh, it's duck on it. Harbinger. They say you show up when the world is about to end or something. That can't be right, can it? Oh, it already did. He's done something. That's why you're here. That bastard. <laughs> Well, if you like to think that, we shall find out together, shall we? All right. Turn back, intruders. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, just We're supposed to turn around. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, I got hit. Ah. Oh. That's very disappointing. <laughs> Focus on the blue one. I guess I'm the blue one. That makes sense. Noticed all those locked doors we passed. Fancy mystical seals. Indeed. And this one. This door is special. It's where all the emperors are buried. Think of all the secrets they took with them. Still, oh. unless you're close to Indrik, there's no getting through. I see. So that could be useful if I could bond with some of the uh, age-old emperors. Learn all of their secrets. Fair enough. All right, let's continue on then, my friend. Let's push open the door together. One, two, three, go! And not that he really looks like he needs my help. <laughs> All right, finally, looks like we're getting... So he has lava in this main walkway? The, this And this is just a bridge. Talk about lavish. Jeez. Jeez. It's a little bit, a little bit much, but I guess if you're an emperor, right? You just be like, build me a pathway that has lava pouring along the sides. We have some resistance here. Hold the line? Okay. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I guess it did. Ow, I got hit. And I lost I lost my bauble that I just built up that I was trying to use. Sharpshooter. How you doing, buddy? Here, we'll, we'll finish him off for you. That's cold. What did we do that was cold? This is a very warm place. Ah, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. I can smell. It does. Lava? His scent just changed. So he's completed the ritual. Or he's covered himself in sulfur and cinder, maybe? Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna end poorly. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, all right. Oh, I can see my my glowy shadow. Thank goodness. All right. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought. I was ex I was like, oh man, I'm having trouble with perspectives here. So I can actually see where I'm about to land because of my glowiness, which is convenient. If I if I do say so, thankfully, the game takes pity on you. You've got guts making it this far. I will enjoy turning you to ash. Oh, he's got a fiery mace. Look out, bear buddy. He's going to... He's going to smash. Just do a smash. Just... Yes, that, please. There we go. Took out the leader. Oh, and I got hit. I got it. There we go. Now, can I... Yeah. A little bit of a, a laser beam attack there from my combo buildup. That was nice. Oh, I didn't know that my bear friend could, uh, like, throw boulders. That's convenient. I'm just going to grab these barrels quick. Because, you know, barrels are a required thing. Here, let's open another door. Come on. I like that we just got to push the doors and that they're two-way doors. It's convenient. Oh, that, that's the emperor. Uh-oh. 
Uh, you shouldn't be messing with that dude. Oh man, you look pretty impressive though. Look at me. My guards must be dead then. Yes. I can always trust in you to blindly charge in without. And who's that with you? I'm Don't the harbinger. Don't your feathers over it, Emperor. I'm here to end you. I had to come to this. I once saw greatness in you, but I did not press hard enough. <laughs> All right, let's hit him hard, mate. All right, I'm sounds good. That Ludimir pulled you into his foolishness, mate. Now you'll both die. Oh, you're very full of yourself, but it's very possible that you are accurate as well. I hit him once. Hey, injury. Got a broom? Don't you dare, Ludimir. You've no idea of the harm. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. You, Run. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Let's let's get out of here. If there are barrels along the way, I am so you doomed. You upset, mate? What? Did you want to chat with our late emperor? Yes, I did. Spot a tea, maybe. Yes. Tea Trust sounds me, really good. The only conversation you have with you is if you were in chains with a hot iron in your eye. Uh, that's all right. I don't have eyes. <laughs> May have overdone it a little bit. Smashing the thing. Ow! <laughs> that's that not making things easy. Oh, you're building bridges as we're going? Here, go. Just go. Go, bear. Go. Come on, I'm leaving you behind for once. Oh, <laughs> it hit him in the head and he's still going. He is a very strong guy. Come on. Do you need me to lift you up? No, you don't. I forgot. You, you did not skip leg day. Rodentian seal? That's odd. That's right, I'm part Rodentian. There's the exit. I mean, I enjoy dodging collapsing giant stone structures as much as the next bloke, but I wouldn't mind a drink right now. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I wouldn't mind one either. Back to Feobar's tavern. Where's that bartender? Fjordball, come out here. If I'm not dead, which means you're open for business. <laughs> I like his method of thinking. I do apparently Fine. have a beer. I'll celebrate with my friend here. Harbinger or whatever it is you call yourself. You did good back there. Well, wouldn't have survived on my own, that's for sure. Oh, so thanks. much for long live the Emperor. More like, may burn in hell, and the world's better off for it. Never thought I'd live to see Endric gone. After all, he... Ah, uh, I'm blathering on. Yeah. Your turn, Arbinger. Now that we killed Endric, is your, uh, mission complete? It's did you different. Stop the apoc <laughs> no. The apocalypse is still going because somebody smashed the giant flame crystal. <laughs> and, yeah. The giant snake Vodin, avatar of the great void, surges forth to devour the world. Of course. The chain of events triggered by the death of the godless priestess have played out as they have before. The truth must be found, and Vodin must be stopped. Investigation Orb. These are the clues you have uncovered today. You can review all your clues by looking into the Investigation Orb at the Tree of Life. Use it to help make decisions about your next steps. New information acquired. Indrik is secretly in Yarbog's temple to perform a ritual that turns him into a living flame. What good it did him when you just get smashed with a rock and you're done. New information acquired. A secret exit to the temple used by Rodentians is protected by the Rodentian Seal. That is very curious. New information acquired. In Yarbog's temple, there is a gate locked with the Imperial Seal. Also has the, uh, Im the Imperials of the Past in it. Only the Emperor or someone close to him has the key to the Imperial Seal. Solve the mystery. Solving Vera's murder is the key to saving the world. Every day you have until Voden's appearance during the evening to uncover new clues for your investigation. Repeating the same choices will not yield anything new. Choose wisely. Day complete. I get my XP, my no death bonus, and no stylish fighter bonus. Oh, I didn't break up enough barrels, apparently. And there we go. 
the end of the world once again. Harbinger. There has to be traces of what the Emperor did to the Priestess. Buried secrets you can unearth. But Indric would protect his secrets with lock and key. That sealed gate you saw in Yarborg's temple. A high-ranked Imperial, like Draga, may hold the key to such a seal. I agree. And with that, I think that we're going to end it here. I hope you've all enjoyed Omen Sight. Watching this and playing this, I've, I've really enjoyed it a lot myself. If you guys want, it is now available, recently released this week. And you can find it on Steam, as well as some other platforms. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to spread the mischief to others. I think that they'll enjoy this kind of content too. Until next time, folks. I'll see ya.